to live in this world, you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal, to hold it against your bones knowing your own life depends on it, and when the time comes to let it go, to let it go. I am in a season of letting go. It's brought about an immense amount of pain, but also freedom. I'm still in the process of untangling my heart, so the relief of it all still feels far off, but I know I have to do this. There is change coming that some of you are not going to like, which makes it all the more imperative to share. We have this strange notion that holding on is always the noble, strong, admirable thing to do. But as this poem gently reminds us, there are three equally important stages of love. The art of letting go when the time is right is just as noble as giving something everything you've got. Today, I need to share with you three things that I need to let go of. I consider this a great act of love despite others' disapproval. The first one is the hardest, so let's get this out of the way. I love you, Koji. Yeah, I love you, Koji. Yeah, I love you. All right, we're all here. Hi, guys. I'm going to try not to cry. But uh, oh, this big guy came into my life almost two months ago now. He's been even better than I ever could have imagined. Honestly, this is more of the problem child than anything. <laughs> he has no behavioral problems. He goes with the flow. He's such a good sport with everything. Sometimes you can feel in your gut if something if something is a little off. This sweet boy wants to be a porch dog 100%. He will go on adventures and he'll enjoy it. I mean, you guys have seen him. He's gone camping with me a couple of times. After more than a couple of days, he just wants to be home. He just wants to belong to his place. Uh, This is the type of dog where I'll leave the back gate open and he'll refuse to leave the yard just because he wants to be home so badly. I have a lot of inconsistencies in my life and I go on a lot of long-term adventures. He would be so easy to bring along but I know deep down he wants to be a porch dog. That's been weighing a little heavily on my heart because I love him so much and I wanna make sure he gets the absolute best life possible. And even though he's perfect for me, I've been questioning if my lifestyle is perfect for him. Fate came into play. There is a little local pet supply store and it just changed ownership. I brought Koji in because the new owner also gives baths. She's a groomer. She just fell in love with Koji. I was explaining to her what I just told you guys, how I've been feeling a little guilty because I'm a little too active for him and I don't want to put any unnecessary stress on him. She and her wife just lost their big guy last year. One thing led to another and they just invited me over to their house just to see what their home is like. And I brought Koji and it was just like, oh, I'm gonna cry. It was just perfect. They have this beautiful house in the mountains with this giant, giant porch. They sit out and have coffee together as a family for a couple hours in the morning. Koji would just be able to lay on that porch. He would have a whole family where someone would always be home and he'd be able to be the porch dog that he wants. They also have an RV, but they'll only go on trips for four or five days at a time, not four or five weeks. And that aligns more with what Koji really wants. That whole thing just being so serendipitous, he'll be just in the next town over. So Rio and I will still be able to get to see him. I really wanted this to work out for me, but really this is about Koji. It's absolutely what's best for him and I can't be selfish about it. Sometimes things don't work out the way you hoped, um, but that doesn't mean it's bad or wrong even though it hurts a little bit. Ugh, why is this so hard? It's an extremely happy day for Koji. A sad day for my little heart. (laughs) I love two hearts sometimes. 
and you stop being sad. And I hope I don't let any of you guys down because um, I know a lot of you guys love Koji almost as much as I do. It's kind of like the best of everything. Koji gets to have the lazy boy lifestyle that he deserves and wants while also still being able to have me and Rio an even bigger family. He's gonna be so spoiled. Let the adventure continue, huh, Koji? Are you excited, big guy? Hey, come on, we're gonna load up. Yeah. You excited, big guy? Oh, look at that happy boy. two days because I'm coming over for margaritas so oh, okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna go figure out my emotions <laughs> oh um happy day ha happy day I'm not saying that fighting for something you believe in or waiting in hopes that something will prevail is a bad thing. I think we all dream of a love that will choose us with such conviction that it will fight for us. I know I do. All I'm saying is that in my life right now, I need this reminder about the importance and nobility of letting go. I am an exceptionally stubborn and passionate person, which can sometimes be a good thing, but it can also be a hindrance. It makes letting go hard for me, and I end up doing more harm than good to myself and the people I love. So this is my way of holding myself accountable. So in the name of letting go, I am canceling my upcoming group trip to Alaska. I'm still taking the matriarch of my family, my grandma, to Alaska to fulfill her lifelong dream, but with the personal changes in my life, I just don't have the capacity to fully show up for a group of people, and I need to honor that. I'm also stepping back from the current rules and roles I'm holding myself to. I want to rewrite the narrative of my future, how I act, how I love, how I embrace, how I let go. What will this look like? I suppose only time will tell.